we'll start with questions in English. I'd like to ask the first question for Marion Chilich. Hi, my name's Damien from The Telegraph. Um, congratulations. Um, it was hot out there. It was. How, uh, how did you find dealing with the heat, and is this the, the hottest you've played, certainly in London at Wimbledon? Um, I'm dealing quite all right with the heat because it's uh, quite dry, and uh, usually the points are not too long, so uh, it doesn't bother us much, and uh, I usually like to play on heat. And um, I'm not sure if it's the one of the hottest, but last week was, was also quite hot, a uh, week before as well. And uh, it's been a really great summer, so uh, enjoying it, and uh, I hope it stays like this. Thank you. Do you think, oh, just on the heat quickly, yeah. do you think uh, the women get a break uh, mm -hmm. as part of their heat rule um, when it gets above certain temperature and, and humidity? Do you think that's something that should be available to the guys in, in, in their game? Um, maybe in... in uh, some uh, some cases where humidity is big. Usually, with the heat, we are dealing with the heat quite all right. Uh, just if the humidity gets really really high, sometimes at U.S. Open, its temperature can be around 29, 30, and uh, unbearable on the court because it's cement. Everything gets so hot, so uh, it's much more difficult than here. I feel here is is quite comfortable, even though it's hot and uh, it's. Um, not uh, not so easy, but I feel it's uh, not too bad. So uh, I think it's better that it stays like this. You didn't play on center today, mm -hmm. but when you have played on center, as recently as yeah. the end of last Wimbledon, what is the feeling like walking out to center court, both emotionally mm -hmm. and mentally, as you prepare to play on that court? Um. It's uh, one of the best uh, courts that we have in the game and also uh, it makes it special as uh, you walk uh, through the corridors uh, you are seeing the, the history of uh, past Wimbledon champions as well and um, I, had a, I was fortunate to play a few matches last year there and uh, I always felt uh, amazingly well. Uh, it's sort of also with the atmosphere with the uh, you know the public they are uh, giving you always the, the warmth and you feel uh, that you are special on the court and uh, you know I think it's really uh, really beautiful to play inside. Yeah. Not just on center of course mm -hmm. but playing in grass in general how does it affect your thinking about your serve and your confidence in mm -hmm. it? Um, it's uh, just slightly different than uh, all the other surfaces as uh, the ball skids through the court a bit, uh, bit quicker and you can uh, slide the ball around a little bit easier than, than on hard courts for example and uh, here you also tend to play the opponent on the other side so you have to play the mind game as well where to serve, uh, what kind of a serve to serve uh, also uh, you know at certain points you know what, what you feel uh, with your serve so it's not just hitting only your spots and your patterns, it's more also playing the opponent and uh, playing the mind game, what is uh, going to work at that particular point. The Wimbledon uh, women's final is always on a Saturday, men's final on the Sunday. In For equality, should they mix that up? Sometimes the women have the highlight, the final, the final day final. Um, I'm not sure because uh, you know, it's uh, also part of the scheduling, uh, men's play, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, the uh, the matches and the ladies play uh, Tuesday, or maybe even four matches up to up to Saturday, I'm not, not exactly sure, but, uh, you know, it's, I think, on the tournament to, to decide about those things. I think, I still think that, uh, you know, ladies' uh, matches are followed extremely well and, you know, <laughs> I'm also watching a lot of lot of the matches, so um, I think the the atmosphere, any any kind of the day, it's it's amazing, and uh, I think they the tournament prepares it extremely nice uh, for for you know both men and women as well. Marion, it was unfortunate last uh, in the final last year to get the blisters. Is, is that a regular problem or, or not not too often? Uh, it happened to me just one one time, uh, another time uh, in the past, but it was uh, just unfortunate because uh, it happened at that moment. Uh, I played throughout the tournament, uh, all, everything was fine and uh, just after the semi-finals felt it so it was, uh, it was uh, very unfortunate and uh, you know, still some, some things that you have to also take care of on a great level. In terms of your history playing here at Wimbledon, mm -hmm. what is your favorite memory and what do you remember about it most? 
Um, favorite memory would be uh, last year reaching the final and that moment of uh, celebration and realizing that I'm going to be the first time in my in my final and uh, playing for the trophy. A uh, special thing about it is uh, I grew up watching Goran so many times on TV and following him um, through all his matches and uh, losses in the first couple losses that he had in his final. Then, then after when he won it, it was just uh, such a joy uh, for to see him lifting the trophy and then also for the nation as well. So, uh, you know, growing up like that, you're always dreaming that you're going to be one day playing at Wimbledon and then and now, of course, uh, uh, playing for the trophy. Uh, Andy Murray won Queens in 2013 and 2016 before then going on to win the title here at Wimbledon. Um, how has the Queen's victory prepared you for Wimbledon? Is it kind of um, motivating you more for kind of getting to the final and taking the title this year? Um, I think it uh, prepared me extremely well in, in just in terms of uh, my confidence. It's very high. Um, I played five quality matches over there and uh, I was aware that most of the guys who were playing great at Queen's were also continuing to play again over here. Even for me last year, even though I lost in the final of Queen's, I felt that I was playing great tennis and that helped me to continue the form here as the season is so short on grass and you have to peak it extremely well. And, you know, in terms of matches uh, uh, over here, if you are not completely focused, one or two points can cost you a set. So I think that kind of a tournament like Queen's always uh, prepares you mentally well. But, you know, still at the end of the day, you have to do things really well uh, during Wimbledon. And uh, that's, what, that's what I'm going to focus on, just to uh, try to be, the be as best as I can on my part of the court and uh, worry about that only. Your next opponent is Pella or Cooper, and what do you know about them, and what are you hoping to achieve in the next match? Uh, I've played uh, Pella a couple of times. Um, he's uh, he's a very solid player, and uh, and even uh, he's got he had uh, great success on clay and hard courts. Uh, grass, uh, not not really that much, and uh, we haven't played on grass. But uh, I've I've seen that he in Stuttgart he played also. He won a couple of matches, and uh, obviously he's getting better on grass. So um, I'm, you know, feeling that I have to be ready for that match from my own part of the court to continue to uh, play my own game so well, like I did today, just to try to control most of the rallies. And uh, for Kubler, I don't know him much. I've never played him, and um, didn't see him to how he plays. We have three more in English: one, two, and then three. I just want to ask about your preparation before a match. If there's any sort of anything you do specifically, mm -hmm. superstitions. Also, whether you watched the football last night I did. and uh, <laughs> what your thoughts are on a potential clash with England in the semi-final. Yeah. Uh, regarding routines, I'm uh, quite straightforward. I am always having the same routine, no matter the match, and I think that helps me to uh, prepare for every single match. Uh, on the same level and uh, respecting the opponents and uh, also preparing. Uh, with preparing mentally uh, is is uh, makes it easier for me even when I'm going to later stages of the tournament as nothing is changing is uh, feeling that it's just another match that I'm going to be playing and um, yeah Croatia Croatia's match was a big drama last night we were on our edge of the seats and it was not easy to follow the the penalty penalties in the end but uh, yeah luckily that that we won and uh, what a what a perform! What a what a victory, obviously, and uh, what a result to get into the course. And you know, still three more matches to go, but uh, we have to take it match by match. Does your experience in the fi final last year make coming back here in any way bittersweet, or are you, you more determined than than you were 12 months ago? Um, I, I was. I'm looking at the. Last year's experience as a positive one, and uh, the one that I can learn from, especially in my uh, psychological approach uh, to the match. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to be on 100% on level, so I was not able to also uh, test myself how how would I play in the in the match. But uh, psychologically, I felt the atmosphere, I felt the pressure as well. I felt that I was dealing with it really, really nicely, and it gave me great confidence for this year coming back on grass. And I feel it can uh, give me a slight edge in experience if I'm going to be coming in later stages of the tournament. And uh, I feel this year it's more 
looking at it as another opportunity to to play well i'm in great form playing great tennis and uh, hopefully i can deliver here again not i'm not looking at back at last year as that uh, i would have some some kind of revenge i'm feeling that it's another opportunity and uh, that i uh, have another chance to go really really far last english question i suppose you made a great start as can you just assess your performance today and also the united football which made you more nervous your match today or the Denmark against Croatia last night? Well, uh, both were both were not, not easy, definitely. And, and especially coming into the Grand Slam, you are always feeling the nerves and especially playing the first match. But luckily, I opened up really nicely and got double break in the first set. And um, Yoshito later in the second and third showed uh, good tennis. He was uh, very solid and was not not definitely easy as it looked in that first set so he made me work uh, but i felt uh, quite confident in my serving i, I served really well i uh, didn't have uh, too much trouble during the match and you know i'm definitely extremely happy with that thank you thanks guys you too. Thank you. nice to hear